You were all over the uh, Gulf Coast region yesterday. Did you run into any uh, yacht racing down there? Oh, I, I didn't, but I ran into a lot of people, a lot of small, medium-sized businesses, fishermen, you know, people that rent uh, uh, things on the beach, condominiums, uh, small business people that don't have yachts but are concerned about their livelihood, and rightly so. I thought, Bob, that the fact that, that uh, the chairman of BP had the gall, the arrogance, to go to a yacht race in one of his, uh, in England, while all of this was going on here, I thought that was the height, height of stupidity, and I believe myself that he should go. I don't know how he can represent a company in, in a crisis like a BP and ignore what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, Congressman Gow, down there in New Orleans, you kind of got the nation's attention at another congressional hearing the other day when you suggested, uh, I'm sure you didn't mean this literally, but you suggested that another BP official might ought to commit Harry Carey. Uh, what are your thoughts this morning uh, when you get up and see pictures of Tony Hayward at that yacht race? Uh, again, Bob, I, I'm very disappointed of how uh, out of touch the executives at P e at BPR, uh, our people are suffering tremendously down here. I just received news from a staffer of mine that a Vietnamese fisherman actually tried to commit suicide. So uh, it's, a, it's a situation that is quite desperate for many, uh, for thousands of people. Uh, hundreds of businesses uh, have closed since the uh, oil spill, uh, and the uh, devastation to our wetlands and coastlines. Uh, we just have to wait and see uh, the level of the, the uh, devastation.